Good day, tennis fans. Welcome to this week's Point Counterpoint. I'm Ted Leepak, and joining me is Blair Henley, and today we're talking about David Nalbandian. In case you haven't heard, on Sunday, David Nalbandian kicked the signage surrounding a line judge while up 7-6-4-3 against Marin Cilic in the Queens Club Final. The wood flew up, injured the line judge, and Nalbandian was immediately defaulted from the match. He's been stripped of the points he would have won at the tournament and the $57,000 he would have made. And if that's not enough, he's been fined over $12,000 and is facing assault charges. Is this overkill? Oh, I don't think so at all. I think that you got to come down hard on somebody like David Nalbandian, you know, for injuring a, a line official. There was blood. You got to, you got to, you got to make a point. Well, listen, I'm not a huge fan of David Nalbandian, but I really think you have to look at intent here. He certainly didn't wake up that morning and say, I'm going to make someone bleed. You know, it's it's like when you're out on the court and you throw your racket at the fence and by some crazy chance it hits the support pole and cracks in half. You didn't mean to break the <sighs> but racket. But you still did it. You still got to be punished for what you did. And he hurt somebody, he's got to be punished. It is unfortunate that there was a person involved in this particular yes. instance. Yes, However, that person then reported him to the police. Come on, dude. All right, that's a little bit. I, I agree with you there. That's that's a bit of overkill. I think what happens on in in tennis should stay in tennis. You know, I mean, it was a little bit of blood. It was an accident. It shouldn't be an assault charge. Agreed. You know, and the other thing too, when I saw when I saw the footage of this incident, that signage or piece of wood around the line judge's chair, uh, that exploded. I felt like I was watching a cheap action movie where the guy yeah. kicks the door and it's it blows close. off its hinges. You know, it, it, I felt like a Queens Club intern was assigned to glue it together. Yeah. He certainly could have known that thing would have been as flimsy as it ended up being. And, um, you know, consider places like the Australian Open where the signage is actually part of the chair. You know, he's played enough years of tennis to, to have had that experience and to know that it's not like that everywhere you play. All right, look, David Nalbandian's a bad boy. We all know that. I mean, this is not his first fine of the year. I mean, earlier this year at the Australian Open, he was fined like eight thousand dollars, I think, for throwing water on an official. Uh, it's uh, he's this is his second offense, and you got to find somebody and make an example of somebody like that. I totally agree with what they've done here. He is a repeat offender, but you know what? To me, it all comes down to the fans. There were people at that Queens Club final who paid good money to see that match. And, and they were gypped. They didn't get no. to see the end. And, and I just feel, you know, there are no tennis players without the tennis fans. And I feel like it was owed to them for the match to be finished. And listen, no. afterward, strip his points and take away his prize money. Okay, first of all, you just injured a line official. You got to stop the play and say, okay, look, dude, that was, that was way too much. You got to stop it. You got to finish it. And you got to come down hard on him then. Otherwise, he won't take it seriously after. I see where you're coming from, but you know what? The good news in all of this is the fact that this particular incident has been across the headlines all over the place. And in the game of tennis, I hate to say it, but any publicity is good publicity. And for that Certainly reason, David Nelbandian, we salute you. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in to this week's Point Counterpoint. We'll see you next week here on Tennis Now.